really this needs to be grown across New Zealand and needs to be as common as maize. Yeah. Just drive along, oh yes, yeah, hemp. Yeah. The, the beautiful thing was, is the, the amount of carbons that it sequences and then when you build products from those like plastic or houses or cars or whatever, clothing, the whole lot, yeah. it's locking up those carbons in those products so it brings them back down to earth. We've got some pretty amazing sort of export potential contracts coming up and expressions of interest coming in and oh, the reality good. is even 500 hectares isn't going to scrape the barrel. Mm. There's a company in um, Australia who want all of our fibre and we can only supply them with about a tenth of what they want. Wow. So, so we need more growers, yeah. you can't grow too much hemp basically. No. What they're doing with um, a half a million hectares of hemp in China that they're using for fibre at the moment, they are going to start phasing that out and growing more for food security. And then they're looking at other countries to grow their fibre for them. So there's massive potential in New Zealand for that export market for that fibre. Cotton uses six times the water and massive amounts of chemicals, yes. whereas this doesn't use any. And it's 90% 90, 90 more sun protective than cotton. You've got no. four times the fibre as a pine tree forest. Um, over the same length of time, that is not just one crop uh, compared to it. It's a 120 day crop. An Australian guy, Adrian Clark, has been working with hemp for many, many years. We were just doing hemp really for the seed side of it, the nutritional side of it, and for growing it for the environment. And then when he came along with his machine, we were like, oh yay, we don't have to go and spend six million euros on a hammer mill, which we thought we were going to have to do to get the industry going in this country. So you've got three components mm -hmm. of the plant, bang, harvested, ready to go. Wow. And straight away, you can this be putting that into uh, the building industry, building houses. You mix that with hydrolyzed lime in a binder, water, mm -hmm. and this will set as strong as stone and it will continue to sequence carbons out of the atmosphere for over a hundred years after you've built your home. And the Science Museum in the UK have just built an acre sized building to go inside one of their hangars at the airport to put all their treasures because of the humidity is just constant temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which if is you build a house out of that, you don't need heating or cooling. It just stays a constant temperature right through the house. Mm -hmm. So what the world needs, like yeah. all of the third world countries who don't have accommodation, yeah. they can grow it and build a house right next to it. Yeah, grow your own house basically. Yeah. About yeah. a hectare and a half of hemp will build the average size home. So it's a natural product yeah. and it's a new technology isn't mm -hmm. it? And, and it's, it's a new technology, yeah. You need a biorefinery next to the crop basically. Yeah. And that's actually a steel replacement, a plastic replacement, and so on and so on. So yeah. It just goes on and on, actually. What they're doing with nanocrystal cellulose right now is just incredible. And that, that cellulose is just worth, after going through the biorefineries, is worth really, really good money. Yeah, in we'll six have months some time, in six months' time, in six we? months' uh, time, we'll, we'll be ready to commercialise a natural plastic from hemp. Yeah. It's just, an, it's just nothing, no petrochemical in it at all, just a natural product. As a human food, it's <laughs> the most nutritious seed on the planet. It's it complete protein, it yeah. has all of your essential amino acids. It's the only plant to have omega-3 and 6 in the perfect optimum 3 to 1 ratio for your easily absorption into the body, so your body doesn't have to convert anything. It's got GLA, which is anti-inflammatory, amino acids, essential minerals, vitamin E. A handful of that seed each day gives you the nutrition that you need. A glass of water. So it doesn't matter what else you eat in the day, you've had your nutrition. You've had your omegas, you've had your mm. essential fatty acids, you've your had protein. your chlorophyll, your protein, your fibre. It's all there. People will come back to us and they give us big hugs. And the, the people that are coming back, initially the first people that are coming back and, and saying they got results are ones with arthritis. Yeah. Wow. They come back and they go, pain I've relief. got 5% of the pain I used to have. Thank you so much. I've tried everything. Nothing could, could fix it but this does. Yeah, we had a guy who was due for a knee operation and he rang up and he said, well, the swelling's gone down. I can go up and downstairs and I've cancelled my operation. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And is that from having the oil? Having the oil. Yeah, the seed would be the same because there's yeah. the amount of oil in there as oh, well. A tablespoon yeah. a day. Yeah. yeah. If we were allowed yeah, to consume the seed, like we, the rest of the world can, that would be great. And it's coming. It'll it happen. will happen. As we grow the industry more and more, So if somebody said to you, oh, what about, what do you reckon, could you? Just say yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just say yeah. yes. There's nothing you ask a question, the answer is yes. yes. The answer is Can yes. you make yes? <laughs> yeah. You can. Yeah.